Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is an exciting episode. We have a lot of stuff going on here, and we have a lot of people around doing some work here around Villa Feliz. Uh, I don't know if you remember, you remember this guy right here. This, if you watched the My PI Dream pool build series here, when we built the pool back here at Villa Feliz, this was the mastermind. This was the foreman, <laughs> and he, and he did all hands on. This is Obang, and Obang was the one who did the swimming pool. They, they dropped by for a visit, uh, maybe some other <laughs> pool opportunities in the area, and uh, he and his wife Sue over here, Hi. and you can't see. I don't know if you can see inside the swimming pool. Their son Stephen. He's out there taking a dip this morning, a nice in a nice cool water. So, well, the, the, today's episode is not about the about, uh, visitors or swimming pools, but what today's episode is going to be in the pavilion series, and I believe we are on episode number 16. What we are doing today is something that I, I find very, very exciting. Now, you see over my shoulder over here in the background that we have the pavilion. Well, let's talk about more about it once we get into today's episode. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. We well, probably noticed we have our tile saw. Remember, this is the same tile saw that we did for the, uh, the building of Villa Feliz over here. The same tile saw that we used for the construction of the swimming pool. Well, today it's going to be used a small part for some of the construction of the, the, uh, the finishing product of the floor of the, and the steps here of the pavilion. Now, this is the team from uh, Caribbean Construction who are building right across the street. A lot of stuff going on, and we're gonna cover that in one of the very upcoming episodes here very soon. Uh, but this is the team that does finishing, and finishing can take it either make your project that is starting out looking really great look even better, or since it's what you see, it could be something the opposite, which we know is not going to happen on this on this project right here because these guys are the experts. I've seen their work. If you visited with me on the house blessing tour on the other side of the subdivision, this is the tiler that did all that beautiful tiling on that project. Well, anyway, let's talk a little bit about some of the materials that we're using for the floor and the steps here on the pavilion project. So anyway, let's look at some of the tiling that we're going to be using, what we chose at our local at our local stores. Well, this tile right here, it's got a rough finish. It looks like stone. It's locally, locally manufactured here inside the Philippines. That's what we're gonna be using for the main floor that we have on the slab here for the pavilion. The, uh, it is also going to be accented by some accent. We're gonna have two sets of accent tiles in the center that you would normally do inside a house or something. It has like a star burst pattern. And let me see if I can see where they maybe set some of those tiles. They're around here somewhere. Actually, they're kind of hidden back here. And what I'll do is I'll show you once they do the layout on the floor, how we're doing these right here. Uh, these tiles right on the end right here. So those are going to be the main tiles that are used for the main floor here. Now, like we did with the swimming pool build, like we did with Villa Feliz for protection, for non-slip, we're using these tiles right here, these non-slip tiles that are going to be used exactly like you see right here on the step that is part of the, uh, the, the, the main section of the steps right here. Also, it's going to be used to go around the entire slab here, so it defines the slab. So the guys are in their layout stage right now. That's the very first thing that they do to get everything level. So you can see they got their line, or maybe you can't see because it's almost transparent. But they have their line here and they're prepping everything to make sure everything will be nice and square. And we have the correct slope that we need and everything fits properly on this lap. Now if we have any differences inside the dimension, because a lot of times when they pour a slab, it's not exactly rectangle sometimes. What they'll do at the very end so that we make sure that we define it exactly right, they'll shave off, they'll take a, a saw, and what they'll do is they'll cut off the excess part of the slab so we have a perfect 
design. We don't have extra, this much extra tile in one section. You watch it go down and down and down, which happens so many times on a lot of the builds here in the Philippines. Something I want to briefly mention before we watch the guys continue working with the tiling is something that I got done the other day, and it's the electrical. We have the electrical outlets right here. These are the two electrical outlets right here. These two here go to both the ceiling fans. We have a front and a rear ceiling fan, and what we have here, this is for the lights for the posts, these post lights, and then this one right here provides the power to the DC power supply that provides lights to all the low voltage LED lighting inside here. And we've been using those the last couple of nights and they work really well. Also, I want to show you one thing. Uh, this is something I kind of messed up at first and then I saw something else and I got this. We're using the Panasonic outlets and this is actually a Panasonic weatherproof cover that goes on here. Originally what I purchased were these. I bought these covers right here and I got these on Lazada that came in from China. And they're, they're just really big. I want you to look side by side. The difference, the differences between the one I ordered on Lazada from China and the Panasonic. I didn't want a, such a big uh, footprint of the waterproof cover. And I wanted to be able to see the receptacle. The, these, these little protective coatings will come off. Uh, this is just to protect it while we're doing the work inside here. Uh, and you can actually see the outlet. You know that that's an outlet there, and, I, and that's what I wanted. And we have it for the th three outlets here on the minibar, and we have it at each place of the pedestal so that we can access power whenever we need to access power. Oh, there is one more thing that I forgot to tell you about what's going into this build, and it's going to be for the rise of each one of the steps. What I wanted to do is I want some type of a Spanish tile, you know, the ones with the designs. And what we have back over here, these are our tiles that we are going to be using for the rise of each one of the steps. Now, this did not come in in individual tiles, so that's why we have the tile sawyer out here this morning, is we're gonna cut these and make four individual tiles on each one of these uh, tiles that we have here. This would normally be used for a backsplash inside a house, but I couldn't find in our local hardware stores, I couldn't find the individual nice Spanish tiles. So I said, well, sometimes you can use something that was meant for another purpose and repurpose it for something that's more appropriate for your project. That's what we're going to be doing with this. And these will be used on each one of the steps. Well, let's go ahead and set up some time-lapse video and try to compress a lot of work into a very short period of time for your convenience. Uh, I suspect this project is going to take approximately three days. That's my guess, guesstimate. So we'll watch it over the next three days to see how this evolves.
So this is the day after the tiling team got started here on the pavilion project in the backyard of Villa Feliz here. And I want to, to show you, remember we talked about these edge tiles, the non-slip edge tiles, that give you a visual idea of where you're making your step and then if you step on it and it's wet or anything like that you're not going to slip or hurt yourself these are both aesthetically pleasing at, at the same time they 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 allow for a major safety factor in your there build you see how much we've gotten completed since yesterday and you're going to continue working on this today is very little that needs to be done on the main slab and then the steps will be done but i also want to show you something right here that this team does you might not find with some of the uh the workers that lay tile in your area what will happen is you'll get something like what we have right here the the slab when they put the formwork in it wasn't exactly square and it went out and extended a little bit further and what these guys are going to do to correct that they've already lined off from the the tile that they've already set inside here all the way to this point they know where the last tile which is going to be the edge protector where it's supposed to fall and they're making a correction to the slab by basically using a a saw a uh, a chop saw and they cut into the concrete slab they're going to pull the excess off and make it exactly square so this whole laying of all the tile will be perfectly square now I said earlier that sometimes you won't find uh, tilers or contractors that will do this because what they'll do they'll just leave a the slab there and what you'll see your tiling will become uneven from one side to the other maybe where the tile goes near the edge like on this side will be this big and as it goes down it gets wider and wider and it's obvious that there was a mistake with the squareness of the base layer which is your slab but these guys are doing it right All right, here we are on day three of our tile installation. And that's about what I said. I think today is the day everything should be completed. I think we estimated at the very beginning, this is a three-day project. And I think it's going to be a three-day project. Let's go ahead and look before the guys get in. It's early in the morning here now. And the tilers have not arrived here at the, uh, the site. Let's go ahead and look at what they completed yesterday. All right, so you see we haven't started the steps today too much of the step a little bit started on the other side and I have the tile layout for the back for the rise you can see this is the tile that we're going to be used this was in a in a two by two pattern and I used the tile saw if you probably saw uh, in the background while they were applying these I was over here cutting all of these tiles right here so we can use it for the backsplash they'll be doing that today uh, but this is where we are right now and I'm really happy I'm really happy with this so you can see I had them line up from the fans on the roof straight down the center portion right here for the decorative tiles that we have right here so it looks a little symmetrical looks a little in line uh, let's go ahead and look at the rest so you can see they got some of the tiling done for the steps right here with the little edge protectors right here everything's looking very good and this side 
I'm, I'm loving this over here. So you can see everything is nice and clean and lined up in the same size. And this is where they trimmed. We had about this much more concrete over here yesterday and they trimmed all of that off. And this will make a very nice border uh, for the interface between all this and we're going to put over here, we're going to put the uh, the pavers, the pavers that we just used, some gravel and some sand and the paver on top to complete this area because this is going to be seats over here. So everything looking really good so far. Well, here we are on day four. It it's taking a little bit longer, but it, to do it right, you have to you have to be very careful and slow doing this, especially when it comes to the steps. The steps are the most detailed. It requires the most cutting and the most accurate cutting because the slab is very easy. Everything is just a square cut. Everything here we have angles. So that's what we're doing today and we should be finished up today on this project here. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna sit back and do a little bit of time lapse because I think it's gonna look really cool watching, especially these Spanish tiles going once they start going in place, which they already have started going in place right there. Well, here we are on day four. It, it's taking a little bit longer, but it, to do it right, you have, to, you have to be very careful and slow doing this, especially when it comes to the steps. The steps are the most detailed, it requires the most cutting and the most accurate cutting because the slab is very easy. Everything is just a square cut. Everything here, we have angles. So that's what we're doing today and we should be finished up today on this project here. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna sit back and do a little bit of time lapse because I think it's gonna look really cool watching, especially these Spanish tiles going once they start going in place, which they already have started going in place right there. Well, it's about time to close today's episode out. And why are we closing it? Because the guys are done. I want you to look at this tile job that they did for this pavilion floor and steps right here. Uh, I am so pleased with this job. Uh, we'll just go, go around the entire pavilion so you can kind of get an idea of what they did, what this really great tiling team did. And uh, I worked with them on the spacing or the selection of which tiles go in and they had no problem with that to try to make everything look kind of random and they did, they did a great job with that. All the tiles inside here, all the grouting just got done, uh, just completed. So here we are. And the next obvious thing that we're going to be doing here is working with the granite. We'll do the granite there, do the granite here, and then we'll do the stonework that goes around the little mini bar area, which I got called yesterday and all of our stonework is in. We ordered it at Wulcon and we just have to go down and pick it up. So we have completed, uh, this is about four, around four days, about four days worth of work to get this. And again, really happy with where we're at here.
So, so what do you think? <laughs> what do you think about the uh, tower? Speechless. Oh, speechless. <laughs> uh, I, it's so beautiful. Oh, that's okay. That's the word I wanted to hear. <laughs> it's so beautiful, and it is. It's really beautiful. Uh, I am really happy with what uh, these guys. These guys did an excellent job, and I tell you, I got, I got to thank uh, the construction team across the street that are working <laughs> on our Canadian friends' property uh, from Caribbean Construction. And this is part of their tiling team from their <laughs> house building uh, set of mm, people that they yeah. that they employ, and they did a great suggestion for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. So I'm glad. I think all the colors go good. It's not overwhelming. We have mm. contrast, but it's not overwhelming. Mm. It's a very com calming effect. I probably say, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, uh, you feel like uh, you'd like to rest and you hang like out in yeah, the pavilion, yeah. <laughs> even without the tables yet. Even with, yeah, <laughs> even without any furniture or tables inside <laughs> there, which we kind of do. We kind of have like our lawn furniture in there right now. Yeah, borrowed. <laughs> okay, so we have we have gone through one more one more step of our our pro project here, building the pavilion. We started out with the slab, all the concrete work. We did some electrical. We did some plumbing. Uh, we did the actual pavilion woodwork, put the roof on the top of it. We did the tiling. We only have a few more <laughs> things to complete out this project. Uh, mm -hmm. So I expect by um, maybe about three weeks, everything to be 100% done. Now, it won't be probably be 100% done that I want it done because we have some logistics issue. And as mm -hmm. you probably know, with the pandemic and everything like that, mm -hmm. ordering item, items through the mail. Yeah. Uh, online, it's yeah. uh, either they don't have availability or it's taking a long time for the shipping. So yeah. once we get our <laughs> granite and we get the granite installed, we get the stonework for the cladding that goes, uh, a little bit of backsplash that goes on the very back with the light switches and all on. Uh, we're pretty, oh, and we have one more thing that has to do with the logistics and we're not gonna go into that right now. Yeah. Uh, it's a kind of a surprise. We're not gonna talk about that. That does the, what I call the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake, but oh, we'll discuss it. that. Well, I'm not going to tell, because if I say it now, everybody's going to know about it. Uh, why don't I know about it? Oh, well, you do know about it. I know. You do know <laughs> about it. Shh, don't tell anybody. So we're almost done. We're so close. It's, actual, <laughs> it's actually usable right now. We can start using it to sit out and enjoy our evenings. Uh, but all the finishes in it is done. Like I said, granite, some stonework, and some backsplash. Uh, to where we're pretty much and very appliances? Very, and, and appliances and appliances yeah. that go inside the little cubby holes. Well, yeah. that's it for this segment. This segment, this video today actually uh, compiled about a week's worth of putting everything together. But I hope you enjoyed it. And you know what? If you did yeah. enjoy it, please give us a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed, and if you ring that bell, you'll be notified the next time we upload a new video. So until next time from right here in the Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well